Hey everybody, Motorpoet59 here. The other night, my wife and I were talking and she works for one of the biggest healthcare corporations in America. And she was telling me that it's become insane about how many people are calling and want to be tested for monkeypox. She said they have a zit or a mosquito bite or something and they think they have monkeypox. And uh, I told her, well, that's what the government wants. That's what the media is. They're drumming this up. They're drumming people into a frenzy. I don't watch the news. She watches it mm, sometimes, listens to it on the radio. I don't. I, during our discussion, when I, after I said all that about the government and the media, she said, well, I don't know. I haven't really seen much on the news about it. And uh, I guess I told her, I said, well, I don't know. So that evening after dinner, I started doing some looking around. I'm not going to say it was research, just looking around to see if I could find anything about it. And I found a couple of things about it, but no headlines, no mega deaths, no mega infections. There was very little about it. And it wasn't on any headline of any website or any uh, news site or anything that I, that I looked at. And I didn't look at 50 of them. I, I don't know. I probably looked at eight or 10 of them, if that many. So the next night, I told her, you know what, you're right. It's really not plastered in the news. I don't know why everybody's so afraid of it all of a sudden. My youngest daughter, who works in an urgent care, was exposed to it, evidently, a couple of weeks ago at work, and they sent her home for whatever, three days, I don't know, how long it was. But uh, she's fine. And so maybe that's where people are hearing about it. Maybe at their health care providers or something. I really don't know. But they're not hearing about it in the news. But as I said, I told her, you're right, it's, it's not all over the place. And the only reason I can think of why is that there's no one to blame. They can't blame Donald Trump for this. COVID-19 was Donald Trump's fault from, the, from its inception until the very last time somebody died of it. All of that was Donald Trump's fault. He was their... He was their villain. He was the bad guy. And there's no one to blame monkeypox for. There's no there's no one out there that they can point a finger at. They could blame wherever it came from. I don't know. They could point their finger at that government. American people don't care about that. Uh, anyone who believes that the American most, I would say probably 95% of American people, if you think that they care about what's going on in other countries, you're out of your mind. Most Americans couldn't care less. Doesn't matter if they're liberals or conservatives. We don't care about what's going on somewhere else. I real I know I don't really. Uh, if it's going to become something that's going to embroil America, like the Russia Ukraine thing, uh, I get a little bit more interested in it. But monkeypox? Ah, give me a break. You can bet that if they figured out some way to blame. DeSantis or Cruz or some other popular Republican right now, then it would be slathered everywhere. You couldn't you couldn't throw a dead cat without hitting something, blaming a Republican for what's going on. That's the way the media work. They aren't interested in the truth or any of that. They're only interested in boogeymen and what they're being told to do by their liberal overlords. And that's just a fact. Uh, there's no denying that. Who do you think we ought to blame for monkeypox? Are you concerned about it? Do you know anyone who's had it? Do you know anyone who's been exposed to it, like my daughter? In the end, as I remember her saying, they don't think she was actually exposed to it, but someone who came in the clinic had been exposed to it. Uh, no one came in the clinic with monkeypox. So, who knows? Maybe people are just saying that they were exposed to it, uh, because I'm still seeing nothing about it. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. I'll see you all later.